The next command to look at is netstat. Now netstat tells us what servers, services are running on our, our computer and what ports they're connected to. So if I run netstat just now, I can use minus A, uh, it will give me information about all the connected ports um, on the local machine. So this is our local address over here and our foreign address is the middle column and then the status on the address. So you can see that we have all these connections here. Now, I happen to have a server that's running, or actually I have a server that I can set to run. So we'll run this here so you can see it's waiting for a connection. Now if I run netstat minus A, uh, and we look for port 5400, we can see that port 5400 is available and it is currently listening. Okay, so that's all good and well, but sometimes you want to see what um, what the actual command is that's running that port. Um, so netstat allows us to to actually show the executable file that, that's running that. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you use this option. So if I do netstat minus a minus b, I get this. The requested operation requires elevation. What that means is you need to return, you need to run your command prompt in a privilege mode. You need to run it as administrator. Now, there's a couple of ways to do that. Um, the first way is if you go to here, you can right click and choose run as administrator. And I'll say, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? You click on yes. And you see that it now says administrator DOS box, so that you know it doesn't change a color, but it gives you a bit of text in the, the title that says it's running that uh, there. Um, which is all good and well, but if you don't have a shortcut on your desktop, how do you do it? Well, if you're running Windows, uh, you can do uh, Windows 8, I should say. You can run a command prompt, right click there, and then run as administrator. And it does exactly the same thing. It asks you if you want to continue, and you can see that it's running there. Now, if uh, I'm running my, uh, you can see my server still running here. Now, when I run my netstat minus a minus b, it works. So now I just need to look for my 5400, and we can see that there you go. There is 5400. If I just mark that. Uh, so 5400 is running, and it really is indeed running my Winsock chat server.exe. So from this, you can um, make sure that your server is running. As you can see from here, it is running, that it's on the correct port, 54,000, and that it's not connected to anything, and it's currently listening. So netstat is actually a really handy command. Just make sure that you, if you want to use the minus B option, you elevate your command prompt to administrator.